Well, here's a fun stat for you guys. Um, there's, there's been two times in, in the history of U.S. financial markets that stocks and bonds have, have drawn down uh, to this level uh, in the same year. Um, it's actually, there's only, I think, two or three years that they've ever both drawn down in tandem. But both of those years, um, they both drew, drew down 20% plus, uh, and, and this is one of those years. The years were 1931 and 1969. Uh, two years after, within 24 months of, of both of those events, the U.S. defaulted on its debt. Uh, both, both times, uh, they defaulted on their gold promises. One was FDR, uh, who basically revalued gold higher and they confiscated everyone's gold. The second one was the Nixon shock, where they, they basically said, nope, global central banks were not honoring your promises. This is just paper money now. Um, so here we are in a paper money world. How do they default on the debt? And once again, they're going to default in real terms. They're defaulting in purchasing power terms. They're going to do that by printing, debasing the currency. Creditors, bondholders lose their purchasing power. And where is that purchasing power going to go? Um, that's the $100 trillion question. Uh, and and I, you know, that's why I'm here. And with that, you have Dylan LeClaire. He's giving you his stance and actual facts, historic facts, on what's been happening in U.S. global markets since the early 1900s. Over the past 100 years, the U.S. has defaulted on their debt twice. Once with Nixon, once with FDR. And he told you how both of those scenarios played out. But now we're on a paradigm where the U.S. dollar is just paper fiat. So when they default, if history is any indication of what's to come, within two years, every time these similar moves in the market have been had, within two years, that debt gets defaulted on. Right now, we're in 2023. Within two years, that's 2025. Will this happen again in 2025? The question is, if it does, what's the next pivot? Where you pivot from paper money? Is that going to be Bitcoin? And he said that's why he's here. Well, that's why we're here too, to educate you. You have an opportunity to get in before that happens. And with that, I'm Sean with the Bitcoin Bros. I'm coming back at you another cryptocurrency video. Before we get started, go ahead and show us some love. Go ahead and like the video. We appreciate all your support. Getting straight into it, taking a look at an update from Charles Edwards. In just over one year, Bitcoin will be the hardest asset in the world with certainty. And he's basing this off of the halvings because as you see right here, the inflation rate of Bitcoin supply and the inflation rate of gold supply, you're looking at blue versus the red. And right here, look at Bitcoin will then fall below the parity of gold, meaning that it will be more scarce than gold. This is the halving event. We've showed you this. This is May of 2024. And what happens after every halving event? A price shock to the upside. As you see here in 2012, blast up. 2016, blast up. In 2020, another blast up. So how high are we going to go? Nobody knows. But looking back at what Donald LeClaire was talking about, the U.S. defaults on debt within two years along with a Bitcoin halving. And then Bitcoin becomes some type of global reserve or standard. How high could the price really go? And an update from TA Trader Allen. What he's showing here is Bitcoin broke a long term trend line, went down 52% within seven months. So, this is a monthly chart. This happened in 2015, and that Bitcoin picked up an uptrend and moved to another all time high. So, are we in the process of seeing something similar to this? today so we plod this out for you and we'll take a look at what he's talking about so we look at bitcoin um, versus the us dollar on the all-time chart and we just draw a few trend lines every single time we have this upwards trend the trends your friend to the end we have a fall down and right here is roughly around a 50 percent fall down when it fell through this trend line from this first parabolic run you had the second parabolic run here and that lasted all the way through the previous all-time high at the $69,000 top. Look how far we have fell down, about 50 to 52 percent. So pretty similar. Are we going to see a run up from here? So what we did, we just mirrored this bar pattern from this bottom to the peak to see how high we could be going in the upcoming years. And as you see, after the next half, we could be blasting up to that $160,000 threshold or higher and after the next having potentially 200 300,000 now this just shrunk a little bit you know this could be extended we could hit our head on the bottom of that trend line that'll take us up to 350,000 so after the next having be almost like 6 7 800,000 so it all depends on how much steam bitcoin really has but as you're seeing history is definitely rhyming and repeating but if you look at this trend line here from the 2011 2012 cycle 
and how high we got up around in 2017 when Bitcoin went up to 20,000. And this trend line, if we zoom in and see exactly how far we were from this trend line, from this line down to this peak, was about 44%. So if we just look at the days, just strictly the days, and we average them out. So let's pull out our date range tool from the halving and go to the peak to see how many days that was. We're looking at 518 days here for the halving in 2016. And then if you want to use the peak from 69,000, we're looking at roughly... 549 days so we'll go 549 days um, you know we even will lengthen it a little bit you know go to maybe 579 to make it a little bit longer so that's about right here so if we go up here and we see that we pull back about a 44 percent pullback let's get back our price range from where we would run into this here let's zoom into the price so we can get a closer look so right here we have on that 579 days and then we're going to do the price range from this trend line and pull it down around 44 percent to see where bitcoin could be going look at that that's around two hundred and thirty thousand dollars so we've seen max kaiser have a two hundred and twenty thousand dollar bitcoin price call tim draper two hundred fifty thousand that's right in the middle so could we be seeing something like that going into 2025 2026 after the 2024 having that's definitely a possibility based on the patterns and if we take this same principle and look at the bitcoin market capitalization and look back and have some trend lines similarly we see that you know the trends your friend to the end we have we have this upwards trend line that's just up and to the right you see when we fall through we fall through drastically we bottom out around 40 percent so same trend line just different time frame and see how far we fell down if we look is the bottom in yet we're seeing at the bottoms in right here when we fell through this how far we came down is roughly around here 31 percent so if we go down to about 40 percent how we did before there's still some more downwards price action for bitcoin to see we could go from 322 billion on the bitcoin market capitalization down to about the 250 to 262 range so that's a decent pullback in the Bitcoin price chart. That's about a 20% pullback on the overall crypto market capitalization. As far as actual price goes, if, if Bitcoin's price goes down another 20% from where it's at right now, you'd be looking at roughly around a 13 13 to 14 thousand dollar bitcoin price and this coincidentally aligns with what and we've told you this plenty of times this aligns with this peak right here the 13.8k when we came up in the 2019 bear market and hit our head and fell back down well look at if we come back down and just kiss that or fall into this channel right here that could be the completion for this pullback there's opportunity as you see what's to come in the next year or two there could be a blast off so any way you cut the cloth if you're buying bitcoin at these levels if you catch the bottom if you don't catch it but you're still buying at these levels you still end up winning because there's a high probability that we could see a six-figure bitcoin after the next halving and with that i'm sean with the bitcoin bros you guys like this content go ahead and smash the like button if you unsubscribe to the channel go ahead and show us some love we appreciate the support with that that's all i have for you today and i'm out